Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. This massive glue book is finished and I wanted to just do a final flip through. I love this book so much. This glue book was inspired by Liz Drake and her glue book named Big Fatty. I think she had to start over. Uh, Big Fatty got damaged or something, but of course I couldn't just take the name that she used. So I'm calling mine Big D. And the reason I chose D is because I was named after Sandra D. My first name is Sandra. So that is the reason for the name. And I always like to give Liz Drake credit because she definitely inspired this. You can see there are a lot of fun charms on the outside. We've got this paper tag that came from some fabric. That's pretty neat. I stamped dream come true on the back. Here's some really pretty glass beads, more glass beads, and then a little bottle with some moss in it. There's an old wooden spool with some lace around it and more beads. Butterfly on the front and a flower on the front. There is a little tile that I glued into place and then stitched around it. This started out as just a composition book and I had this pretty scarf that I cut down and glued to the outside and then of course attached other things to the journal. I might have sewn this to the scarf before I glued it into place because I do see stitches and thread on this. I'm gonna cut these pieces. Sometimes I like to have thread everywhere and sometimes I don't. I've tried to be careful to cut the threads out of this book. Let's have a flip through and talk about some of the things in here. And I think it's always inspiring to look at a completed journal, it gives you ideas of things you can do in your journals. It even encourages me to go back and look at old journals, get inspired to try new things. It's a way to find inspiration. I even wrote a little note about this being inspired by Liz Drake. You can see old music, just images cut out of magazines. I like to have a tab on every page. It makes it easy to pick up the next page and turn it. Most of these pages are just completely random. Every once in a while, a page, I will see maybe a deeper meaning in it, but not always. Like I noticed on this one, I've got the washi tape down the center, which I love to do. I think it really enforces books like this, but it's covered in fast food. Um, tacos, soft drinks, hamburgers, hot dogs. We have a model over here and of course models are known for not being able to eat because they have to stay skinny or at least that used to be um, what it was like to be a model. I'm glad that we have other body types now that are being shown in commercials and fashion but over here we've got a baseball player and baseball games are a place to definitely get some junk food or snack food. I love this page. I try to glue things in like little pieces of fabric or little snippets of things that I want to keep just maybe a tiny bit of. Maybe I sell the rest or, or make journals with the rest, but I still like to keep a piece so that I remember what it looked like. Love the kitty cat. I have some denim tabs in here to help turn the pages. More washi tape down the center. Love this image that came from a large book from um, commercial like design and photography, um, advertising, that kind of thing. Those magazines typically have some really cool images for glue books. like the birds. Go do something structured, please. I think I wrote that when I had spent a lot of time in this book gluing and I got to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to be doing something constructive. Not that this is not, but I wrote myself a note and got up and went and got busy. I never ever want to live in a world without bird song. Birds make the world a happier place. And that is so true. One of the Tim Holtz die cuts. That's from an old pack of a child's game or playing cards or something. Piece of leather there. All sorts of things in here. Everything from placemats from a Chinese restaurant to book images 
to tags and things that I've printed on the computer. We have, again, washi tape on just about every page. Another die cut, and I put a butterfly behind her. And there's Madonna from a magazine or a book page. Love the old image there. And there's a little bead, a little star with a face on it. I love that. Uh, there's a coaster. Love this uh, paint with the sparkles in it. And there's more of that. I typically get on a roll with pages and like use a color for several pages and then put it away and maybe switch to something else. You can see a little film negative stapled in there. And that's a buckle that came off of something. I just found it in some junk and sewed that to be that page tab. I love the colors in this one. There's a label from a chocolate bar, magazine pages and calendar pages, and just a lot of gold and red on that page. There's one of my old business cards when I had the store. I love this page. I love the colors on this one. I love this butterscotch alcohol ink. Little bird stamp there. There's a little card that says coffee. Oh, I just laid a flower in here to hopefully press it, maybe get some color out of it. Georgie Girl recently left a comment on my most, one of my most recent videos about getting beautiful color for flowers. And that's what inspired me to lay this in the book and press it. That's a nasturtium. I love this quote, practice what you know, and it will help make clear what now you do not know. And that was from a poster from something that happened at the Scrap Exchange, DIY Fest. A lot of beautiful postage stamps here. Magazine image. That's from one of those designer magazines, I think. A little bee. That came from a wedding that we attended and actually played at. And that was what was on our table reserved for Jason and Lynn. And there's more of the sparkly paint. I love the mushroom on this page. I like to put postage stamps in. That's some fabric I found recently that has elephants on it. I'm going to be putting some of that in some packs that I'm putting together. Be the change you want to see in the world. We just have a card in there. And what's that? The Herd Museum. <laughs> That's fun. Make some old money. Reproduction money for the museum, I guess. That's a fun image. Then there's some wallpaper. Um, again, I like to do tabs on every page. This came from a wrapper from some chocolate, as did this. A lot of washi tape in here, and I love to put washi tape, like I said, in the, the seam here. Uh, this is a very heavy journal, very heavy, and... You know, the pages, I don't want the pages to pull out. They're all in there good. I didn't have any trouble with that, but I wanted to reinforce as I went along. And that's got vintage wrapping paper on it. Even on the edges of the pages where they felt pretty thin, like with only one layer, sometimes I would put washi tape. And I love the looks of that. There's an old calendar and an old advertisement for Globe Life. Children's book page. That's from that same children's book. 
Here we have a pocket. I guess I need to find something to put in there. Oh, I see a string. You have to go. More denim for the tabs. That's from an old photography magazine. That is some fancy paper. You can see all the fibers in it. Really pretty. See the die cut there, the deer. There's some washi tape. That looks like. Cut those off. And then that's a fun page. That's a napkin. And it looks like I've gone over that with some shimmery color, maybe a spray color, maybe tattered angels or something like that. I don't remember, but that kind of looks like what it is. It could also be a gelato because I have some shimmery sort of gelato crayons. And then Sandra, I think that little kitty cat is from you. Love this beautiful paper. And I love the colors in this. There's Shelly Duval, and I just wrote Shelly there. Postage stamps. There's a sticker from Trader Joe's. And another page of postage stamps. I love the way that ends up looking. And I think I put that ticket on with some brads. And then, of course, it's covered on this side. You can feel them underneath there. Like that image of the lady screaming. That came from one of the designer magazines. There's a little doily for the tab on that page. And that's just masking tape over the corners, and I put some alcohol ink on that. This page has a lot on it. That image with the man with the sunglasses, that came off of a pack of paper, like printer paper, and I had not ever seen that kind before. Tim Holtz die cut, another fabric tag, and there's, I think that's Anna Griffin die cut. Love this page. This came from a book of interior design. I love all of these images in that book. I really wanted to be able to go back and look at that. And then there's just a little paper clip with a flower on it. And there are a couple more flowers that I'm pressing there. Fabric tab there. I love that image. That's from that same interior design book. Blue books are so much fun. I love this washi tape. And it looks like this is a page where I didn't really put any tape. We can do that now. What I normally do is take a piece the right length and fold it so that you can get way back in the very, you know, depth between the two pages there. And then just press it into place. There's another, another page that's got alcohol ink on the masking tape there. And I love this page. I love these little images. That says Tasha. I think I'm, or Tosca. I'm not sure how to say that. T-A-S-C-H-A. -S -S I love that artwork. And that's a pretty image. That kind, that reminds me of Stephen Foster that era, um, Civil War, and that, just that, that type of dress makes me think of that time period. There were several vocabulary cards in here, and I love this. I love all of the colors in that. That's beautiful, and I like that fabric with the polka dots on that. There's that same image that we had near the front. I just loved that image so much. There it is, facing that way and then that way. I definitely wanted to keep that, and that again was from that design magazine. There's more of this same, I don't remember, I think that came from a book, but I love either that or a calendar. That might be a calendar, actually. 
And there is, that's from my gel plate. That was a, an image transfer of Marilyn. I wrote Candle in the Wind there. And there's a pretty little bunny. It looks like some Christmas images in here, actually. And some of that, I don't remember if that's from Daphne's Diary or... I don't always buy that magazine. I've bought it a couple of times. Might be from that, might not. I'm not sure. Piece of tape there. We're getting to the very back here. Love that. There's an old newspaper clipping, ink stamp, and that's fun. I, that might have come from some wallpaper. And then here we are at the very back, the very, very back. And that's a piece of photo paper with some ink on it, some beautiful Asian paper there, so beautiful. Another postage stamp. You can see how it warped the, the book a little bit to work from front to back. And I don't know why it does that. I guess it's the way it's laying the whole time. Maybe it, it pulls as we turn the page, but I still love this. I love this. I think the next time I make a glue book, I will work from the front and then the back, and from the front and then the back, working my way towards the center, and we'll see if it if it does that or not. So that is that completed book. Oh, look, maybe we better get rid of some of these strings on the flower. Yeah, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm gonna be doing flip throughs of a lot of my completed journals. I think it's so inspiring to, to watch flip throughs of complete journals. I'm always so inspired to see things like that. And I will be back really soon. Bye for now.